Hi there, how you doing YouTube? Today we're back with a brand new video. So in today's video, we're going to um, skim around this fireplace. So the guy had the <clears throat> this fire fitted, um, and then the inside of it, the fireplace um, <clears throat> tile. So what we're going to do is we're going to re-skim the outside of the form, leave it nice. Um, so you can see here, I'm applying my PVA. Um, prior to this, I've already cut all my beads. Um, you can see... Well, that's what you can't really see from this angle, but um, the tails are sitting, sitting about three or four mil proud of the rest of the chimney breast, um, and to get a nice clean angle, what we're going to do is use some um, skim and stop beads. Um, and we're going to get the skim and stop beads set, uh, until the tails, and then um. So it gives us something nice to finish to. So I've already mixed the stuff here. Um, how I mix this st stuff. Uh, there's actually a video I posted just before this one. It's from the same same place. It's a separate video on, on how we, we mix our stuff. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm just putting a few dabs on of uh, skim. And then I'm just going to sap my bead into the skim. Um usually i would staple these beads but um i actually left the stapler on another job uh my angle beads i don't like sticking them with um skim because a lot of the time they start to move um if the skim hasn't sat properly so we're just checking making sure we're keeping them nice and level and then here you see me this is actually another uh, stop bead because there was like a cabinet edge there um and it was sort of flush with the plaster, so it was just somewhere to, to, to finish the wall, so we used the stop beat there as well. Um, yeah, so you do the same thing, you, 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 you fill it out with skim, and then you just push it in. Um, as I say, I've, uh, I'm gonna, you can see me here, what I'm doing is filling, as I say, the tails are proud, so, so um, I'm filling sort of the, the cavity, the gap that it's left and that's just so when i put my um skim and stop beads on th there's something to sit on to number one but then they're sitting flush with the um with the edge of the tails basically um it just it's going to keep everything nice and level um this wasn't a very big job uh, but i thought it would be interesting for people to see how how we use our stop beads and how they actually finish around a fire because a lot of the time the the firefighters don't do a very good job of actually finishing around the the opening so as you can see there that i've uh, i cut my bead uh, it's another stop bead and now i'm just going to butter a drop of stuff in just to hold it nice and tight um and to stop it moving so when i'm doing these what i'll do is i'll do the two legs first and then I'll cut my top bead to, to match in. Um, you can see there, I just checked to make sure there were similar heights. Um, I put a level on just before um, I videoed, so I knew that it was the same. The tails were level, basically, so that I knew both legs could be cut the same. And then, as you can see, just cutting the last bit for the head bead, and that just lines up to the edge of both beads and then it it keeps it nice and um level it keeps that bead level so after i've done this i'm just gonna go ahead and and throw the wall on um i actually have posted as i said a video a few weeks ago or yeah a couple of weeks ago now of me mixing stuff and i i did catch a bit of flack for um not covering the tv and the sofa uh but what I will say in defense of myself is that um, that's a, a big deep bucket and there was only one bucket of water in there, you know, so it was it was never going to splash out. Now, I granted, I, sh I, should have, I should have covered the, the sofa and the TV, but, you know, I, I, well, the rather the TV took down off the wall, but, you know, unfortunately it doesn't happen and... and um, I hadn't I hadn't allowed for this and I'd used my last bit of plastic on on the job the day before. So I didn't ha actually have any other than draping a dust sheet over it, which 
to be honest with you, it probably would have made it more dirty than just working around it. Um, and as you see, like, I'm extremely careful. It's not as if I'm, like, being reckless or anything, you know, I'm being careful. So for everybody that, <laughs> that commented on the video before, I appreciate your comments. Thank you. Um, but, yeah, it's just one of those things. Unfortunately, um, you can't have everything all the time. Um, and I, I asked for the TV to be tucked down, and it wasn't, so it's just one of the things. So, as you can see here, we're just, we're finishing the, the, the last bits here. Um, I'm just going to throw the wee bit on around the side. And then, we're going to, I don't film this bit, but I, um, there's very little left in the bucket, so I just give it a quick wash out. Um, and give it a mix another drop of stuff basically um, now the stuff's mixed you see here I'm just sacking coating um, a bit of drop of fresh skim just doing the sacking coat it's always important to get it as flat as you can the sacking coat um, and there was a bit of uh, there was a bit of movement you can see there around because it was so heavy around them stop beads around the gap for the fire it actually did move a wee bit um and i, I had to spend an extra bit of time just um getting the getting it right sort of thing it's it's hard like when you're you have a small job like this you're just you're trying to get it finished as quick as you can um and some and sometimes just like the the likes of the beads moving and stuff like that there you know as I say I prefer to staple them but you can't have it all your own way um, I covered the fire up as you can see as well just to keep it keep it nice and clean because it was only new um, yeah so I just wanted to they, they asked you as a question if, are you happy enough do you enjoy this type of video me narrating what I'm doing um, or would you like more of a vlog style video like you know I've seen there's a few channels that I watch they put the GoPro on their head and uh, it's like a it's like a point of view you know like their point of view the whole video um, and maybe mix it together with a few shots of you know I don't know, it just, uh, I feel like I don't want to become born and just show the same stuff over and over again, you know, um, because it's it's very easy to sort of become stale, um, like there's a few plastering channels I watch and it's the same thing, like they're, they're house bashing and it's just over and over and over the same thing, so I was thinking maybe like a, more of a vlog style, um, sometimes I have my, my wee sister working with me. Uh, sometimes I've got. I did. I did have a uh, an apprentice, but um, he's not here anymore. You've probably seen him in a few videos. Um, but now, hopefully after Christmas, maybe get somebody else or take him back on again. As you can see here, we're just um, we're giving a wee bit of a close in, and that's just taking all our lines, all our heavy lines off. The plaster, um, as I've ex explained before, I do things probably a little bit differently from everybody else. I'll flatten it in for my first trial, and then I'll take a brand new uh, Marshalltown Prima shape. And you can see this is what I've got here, uh, and I give the, I give the pl the like the plaster a good brush, um, I sort of, I suppose it's sort of like using a sponge float, um. It's a similar sort of idea. You're you're using the um the brush to get all your lines and stuff out, and then you're using the the prima shape, and it's put it's like it's brand new, but it's called like pre worn, um and they they're good for this because they're like sort of blunt, and the like the cut, the good at cutting the plaster, um. That's the reason I use them, um. Like a lot, a lot of times I find when you're like just using your regular trial, your your nice sharp trial, for this turn, like for this trial, 
it doesn't take enough off and it can leave like lines and bumps and stuff um if you're not super experienced so i just prefer doing this you can see like i use the brush and i sort of like agitate the plaster it's sort of like a you're you're sort of leaving like a stipply effect on top of it um and then you're cutting it you're with a decent bit of pressure and a good angle on your trowel you're cutting in till the plaster um and you're taking any big humps and bumps out um i know the last f sort of month or two have been a bit scattered with the the videos um it's just not getting a chance to to sort of record all the time you know just being a, it's hard because i'm constantly in people's houses and when they're there it's not really like most people don't mind like glass is okay if just make a wee video and most people will be okay but it's that awkward thing you know and they're like oh 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 and they're like you know listen it just it doesn't matter it's okay and then they go oh no it's okay you can do a video but you already you already have that feeling like they don't want to do so you know, so it's been hard. I've had a lot of jobs like that where people sort of haven't wanted it. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to try to stay steady. Like, the channel's massively growing. I just hit 200 um, subscribers there last week or the week before. And uh, I'm just absolutely miffed that there's that many people subscribed. Um, I'm sort of getting an average of a thousand uh, views per video, which again something that I would have never imagined that you know I would have been able to get just making plaster videos um I also have another channel um that I'm going to probably start posting that's going to be more um I do jiu-jitsu um and then I do obviously a lot a lot of gaming which I enjoy so I'm thinking about starting to post sub jiu-jitsu and some gaming contact to that other page. So when I do start doing that, I'll I'll link it in in the descriptions, and um, you just can go and check it out. Um, after we do that trial, we're gonna wait probably another thirty five minutes or so, and then we're gonna use our um, this is our Rafina Super Flex. It's a really flexible. It's a, it's a nice trial to to work with. You don't have to put half the pressure on to get it nice and smooth and flat. And we'll just continue the the rhythm, trialing around the wall the same way every time. Um, yeah, so... You can see... You can see here I'm doing a similar thing with the, the trial. Only the plaster's hard enough now where the, the trial's not... Or with the brush... The it's the plaster's hot enough now where it's not um it's not actually marking the plaster. It just sort of um brings the fat to the surface without actually disturbing any of the plaster underneath. I've done quite a few of these recently. Um these wee fireplaces like working around them. Um I think the guy that the guy that I got this job he said that the firefighter had passed my number on to him but i never actually met the firefighter so i'm not sure what's going on there but i appreciate it and i've I've had like four or five jobs so i'm sort of assuming that it's all came came from your man but um yeah once we flex it that's it you know um we're all done with we'll tidy up as you can see, sofa's clean, TV still nice and clean, everything's spotless, no issues. Um, yeah, so that's it basically, guys. Um, thanks for watching the videos. Um, if you want to see pictures and stuff of my work, you can go on and have a look on our Facebook page, um, Surgeon or Plastern, or our Instagram page, Surgeon or Plastern, and I post all my um, pictures of all the work that we do there. Um, and basically that's it thanks for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed the video uh if you can hit the thumbs up button um subscribe best of luck everyone and i'll see you in the next video